Ladies and gentlemen, in this problem here, we're going to determine um, the two things, the force of kinetic friction acting on a box and the net force um, for the, the steel box. Now, this problem is different from the other two static friction problems because in this problem, the object is moving. When the object is not moving, it is called static friction and when the object is moving is called kinetic friction okay so without further ado let's get started um, in order to start us off we're going to use the same strategy we're going to start off by drawing a free body diagram here we have force of gravity or the weight going down and we have the normal force going up we have a force applied going to the right and I'm going to draw my force of friction here a little bit smaller. The reason why I'm doing that is because I know that it is currently moving to the right due to this force. Okay. With that being said and done, let's get started on A. Now the strategy is still the same. We still need to find the normal force. So I'm going to create a Fy net equation here which states that my normal force minus my force of gravity should equal the Fy net. Right? And that because the box is not moving up or down, my Fy net is zero. My normal force, which we do not know, minus my F of G. Now I'm going to make a quick side note here. My force of gravity is equal to mass times gravity. Okay, That's my weight equation. Plugging things in, we know that the steel box is 10 kilograms and the um, acceleration to gravity is 9.8. Now notice how to put the negative there because of the negative sign that came before it. The negative was already taken care of. All right, I'm going to add 98 to both sides to get my normal force to be equal to 98 newtons. All right. Uh, we're not done yet, though, because question A is asking for the force of friction. Now, here's a little different strategy compared to the static friction one. In this one, I'm going to go straight to the force of friction equation and find the force of friction directly. Okay. Now, this was slightly different from before, where we use our fx net. All right. We have our force of friction. Um, the mu given to us by the problem was 0 0.55. Our normal force that we just found was 98 newtons. Um, we do the math here, and we get that it is equal to 53.9 newtons. Okay, um, That is the answer for A, the force of friction. Right. Now, when we are putting this in the fx net equation okay, to solve for b, uh, we know that the force of friction is going the negative direction, so we're going to put that as a minus, plus the force applied. Uh, we don't know what the fx net is. It's equal to negative 50. 3.9 plus 98 and we find out that our fx net is equal to 46.1 newtons. Okay, so that box has a total force of 46.1 newtons going in the positive x direction.